Welcome to CrimSafe Talking Tech. I'm Joe Sasso, uh, engineer for Car3 Team High Flex Commodore. Today we're talking about the V8 Supercar Control Pedal Box. So here we have um, an assembly which is now a control component for V8 Supercar. Um, every car runs the same pedal box. Um, every component is controlled except for the, the pedal pad interface which is free to be whatever material and type you want. Um, the main components of the pedal box are obviously the accelerator, brake and clutch pedal um, and then their attached assembly. So the throttle pedal includes a bell crank uh, which can be changed for different motion ratios depending on what engine you run and how you want the torque curve to, to come in basically. Uh, brake pedal um, employs um, pull type master cylinders. Uh, they run a trunnion which um, controls the brake bias front to rear. Um, this has got an optional add-on which is um, brake pedal position sensors um, and then the clutch pedal which also runs a master cylinder which, which isn't pictured here. So um, the, the assembly in terms of cost is about uh, four and a half thousand dollars um, and weight is around 5.7 kilos. Um, so in terms of what, what we run it's almost identical except for the, the pedal pad interfaces. Generally with these you want the clutch and the brake to be as grippy as possible and then for the um, accelerator pedal to have some slip which is um, displayed here. As you see the pedal box mounted here that's, that's how it would be mounted in a car so floor mounted. Um, uh, just about every road car has a, has a uh, top mounted uh, pedal assembly. Um, the main advantages of mounting it this way is uh, packaging and it helps to get the centre of gravity of all the components as low as, as possible. Being a controlled component, it's um, supplied and manufactured uh, by Triple Eight Race Engineering. Um, every, every component has a part number and um, these uh, must be as supplied on the, on the technical drawing. So um, unchangeable and, um, and common ac across every V8 supercar. Okay, so one of uh, the main jobs of the uh, pedal box is to control brake bias front to rear. That's achieved um, by this uh, rotary knob here that the driver must supply the input for, so it can't be electronic. Uh, we also run um, a position sensor, so we can log that and see on telemetry what position he's got at all times. So this cable runs down to the uh, brake pedal. Um, so turning it to the right um, applies force to the front and then anti-clockwise force to the rear. Um, this is a critical tuning component for the car for when um, fuel burns off and uh, when, when the tyres tend to change the balance of the car mid-race also. The pedal box is fully exposed here. Um, in, in race trim or whenever the car runs, this, uh, this floor plate covers the entire assembly but it, um, it also allows quick access in case there's an issue. As an assembly, the uh, pedal box is a very trouble-free unit. Um, the main thing we do is service the master cylinders. That's typically done every two race meetings. Apart from that, um, you should see years of trouble-free service from the assembly. So there you go, that's the uh, pedal box assembly. The next time you see the driver dancing on the pedals, you see what he's uh, pushing on and how it works. Buying security screens? Most CrimSafe lookalikes can pop out in just a few seconds, but the real CrimSafe doesn't, thanks to its patented screw clamp. Cheap lookalikes can pop out because they're only held in with a piece of plastic. But CrimSafe screw clamp locks the mesh and spreads the impact. CrimSafe resists attack and corrosion and now has the ultimate warranty, 15 years. Ask for a demonstration today, because if it's not CrimSafe, it's not CrimSafe.